everything inside me. Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are healthy. Last night, I read an interesting article written by Jack Helner, entitled, Global Warming, Facts vs. Media Misrepresentation. Without further ado, let's get started. With Joe Biden ramping up the greeny ideology, the history of global warming is worth another look. All you need to know to understand that the conspiracy is false is to see that the Earth had a substantial lengthy cooling period from 1945 to 1975. On the first Earth Day in 1970, after 25 years of cooling, people were scared to death about dire forecasts by experts, without any scientific data supporting their predictions that billions would soon freeze and die of starvation because of a new ice age. The media participated in scaring the public. The predictions were 100% wrong, because a little warming resumed as it always does. By 1970, there had been around 100 years of exponential growth in oil and coal consumption, the population had risen by several hundred percent, and CO2 content had increased substantially. Cars, trucks, planes, combines, tractors, TVs, air conditioners, furnaces, and computers had been invented. Most houses now had electricity. Yet the earth was cooling so much that billions would die, because of cooling despite all these inventions, that supposedly cause warming. A child could understand, that if a significant period of cooling occurred, oil and humans did not cause warming. But the cultists don't care about facts or science when they are pushing their radical leftist agenda to destroy jobs and America. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In November 1922, the Associated Press wrote an article, widely distributed by the Washington Post and others, without scientific evidence, that the ice caps soon would be gone, the oceans were dying, and coastal cities would soon be gone because of rising sea levels caused by the melting ice caps. The predictions were 100% wrong, because they weren't based on science. The ice caps were soon back, and the coastal cities are still there. Sea levels have risen little, if at all the last 100 years. Throughout history, we have always had lengthy cooling and warming periods. Long droughts and massive storms and floods. Humans and fuels had nothing to do with the natural cyclical climate change. But facts don't matter to cultists pushing an agenda. After the fake news and false predictions of the coming ice age in the 1970s, the earth started warming again, as it always has after cooling periods, the cultists were back by 1980, again, pushing their conspiracy that humans and oil cause warming, later changed to climate change. We have even seen fake hockey stick graphs pushing this garbage to the public, they hid warming periods in the past, to intentionally mislead, lie, to, the public. In 1989, the propaganda cultists put out a piece of rubbish with warnings, that looked exactly like the made-up predictions that were 100% wrong in 1922. They said we had only 10 years left to solve the problem. None of these dire predictions were based on actual scientific data, but the programmed cultists and the media and others, including many politicians, spewed this made-up stuff to the public to indoctrinate them. These made-up predictions have also been completely wrong. Made-up stuff usually is. In 2008, the propaganda cultist puppets at ABC ran a special, without scientific evidence, that said Manhattan would be underwater by 2015. The predictions were 100% wrong, because they were pulled out of thin air. As far as I can tell, Manhattan is still dry, but it is being destroyed by other climate change cultists pushing an agenda, named Bill de Blasio and Andrew Cuomo. In 2019, the propaganda cultists at the UN came up with the same dire predictions that we were told in 1922 and 1989. The programmed cultists in the media and others again repeated these made-up predictions to scare the public, especially the children. 
Facts don't matter to leftists pushing an agenda. Now that the cultists are back at the White House and throughout government agencies, they have decided to make up numbers as to the costs and benefits of combating climate change to push their radical agenda to destroy America. These cost projections will be as accurate as all the dire predictions of the last 100 years. In other words, they will be wrong. Anyone can make up numbers to support an agenda. The media certainly won't care because they campaigned for these cultists to push the agenda. They will never ask questions. Anyone who questions these numbers will be demonized as a denier, anti-science, and stupid. Such people will be silenced and cancelled because debate is not allowed. Facts don't matter. The fact-checker at the Washington Post, Glenn Kessler, says he isn't going to keep track of the lies of Biden or his administration. This is nothing new, because he never cared about the lies of Obama either. In fact, the Washington Post gladly acted as if the lies were true and participated in regurgitating them. My guess is that Kessler can't count high enough to count the lies of Biden and his spockus puppets. Does anyone really believe that the people who repeatedly lied about Obamacare can control temperatures, sea levels, and storm activity if we just destroy our economy, give up our freedom, and transfer trillions of dollars to the politicians and bureaucrats as long as they have a D behind their names? If you believe that, you need to be deprogrammed because your brain cells and common sense are gone. This is an excerpt from an article on redstate.com, entitled, Priorities, Biden orders federal government to overhaul social cost of carbon in effort to reduce climate pollution. Existential threat of our time update. So that didn't take long. Among Joe Biden's flurry of executives orders designed to cancel Donald Trump and his administration, the old climate change warrior has directed his team to retool a metrics used to project the costs and benefits of combating climate change, a move he could then use to justify stricter emissions controls. The same people who spread the conspiracy that humans and oil cause climate change and warming. Knowingly spread the lies about Russian collusion for years. Spew forth the phrases white privilege and systemic racism to gin up division and violence, while pretending they are for unity. Spread the lies to get the Iran deal done, even though they pledge death to America. Pretend the violent riots by leftist groups were mostly peaceful. Pretend no one was above the law and the Justice Department operated independently during the Obama-Biden years. Pretended the Obama-Biden administration was virtually scandal-free. Blinders work well for people posing as journalists. Support economic policies that gave us the slowest economic recovery in 70 years. Fought policies that helped lower unemployment levels for everyone and reduced poverty to a record low by lying that the policies only help the rich. Support politicians who keep schools closed despite science that says they should be open. Support making two-year-olds wear a mask. So why do so many journalists, entertainers, athletes, professors, CEOs, scientists, and politicians join the cult that spreads the lies about humans and oil causing climate change? My guess is because they know that is how they get their bread buttered. They do not want to be called deniers, anti-science, and stupid, while well, they are silenced and cancelled, so they just go along and participate in the intentional destruction of America. They clearly don't have empathy for the poor, small businesses, or the middle class who will be decimated. But the powerful, the rich, politicians, bureaucrats, and large companies will do fine as they always have. And these people falsely claim they want to reduce income inequality. We have an existential threat to our survival as a great country in the White House today. He is a programmed cultist who will sign any executive order or bill that radical leftists lay in front of him. Anybody who believes he can explain how any of the orders he is signing will make America stronger, safer, or richer, needs to have his head examined. The greatest existential threats to our survival are all the programmed cultists in the media who just repeat radical leftist talking points, no matter how false they are. These people are so dangerous that they want anyone who disagrees with them to be silenced and deprogrammed. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video.
this everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.